Hi guys, this is Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and this tutorial is about my Banksia bracelet, which is one I just invented last night, but a lot of people seem to like it, and it's simple and quick to do, so I thought I would do a quick tutorial on it. Um, as you can see, it's a reasonably narrow uh, band, uh, it's got a little bit of thickness running this way, which is kind of cute, and it's the same front and back. So it's not a reversible design, same front and back. Um, so this one's done with the um, dual layer 600 packs. And I'm going to do it again in the dual layer packs. You don't really see the dual layer all that much in this colour. So we'll see how it goes in the other one. Alrighty. So we'll start, I might do the... Um, Purple is the backing one, you need two colours. You'll have the one that is going to run basically kind of inside, which is this colour, the dark blue on this, the ocean, and the one that forms the loops, which is the um, turquoisey sort of one. Yeah. So I'm going to do the purple on the inside and the pink as the loops. So you just start with your um, standard cap band. And then this is a whole pile of leaf stitches. So if you're not familiar with what I call uh, the leaf stitch, it's basically just a single chain looped onto a straight band. It hasn't been looped at all. So I will do it throughout this band uh, by putting a loop onto the end of the hook, putting the second loop over the top. The first loop will be your actual colour of the, the ones that look loopy on the bracelet and the second one will be the inside band colour. So you put one on there, put the other one over the top, then you sort of release that, go over the top of that band and capture the other side of the band you had on your hook and capture both. So to me it looks like a leaf on a stem when you do it that way so rather than call it that stitch thingy thingy that I did with the bands I called it a leaf stitch. So that one's going to go have the cap band just pulled up onto it. Alrighty. Now there is a lot of turning in this, but you're only turning with the three bands, so it's not terribly difficult to do. If you have a two-ended hook, um, you could use that, so long as you're not going over too much in the middle. I find that irritating. Um, so yeah, I have just did this with a, one with a loom hook. So we've got the leaf stitch sitting there, and all we're going to do is basically turn around those three. So grab a hold of those turning it around, flipping it the other way, like so, and making another leaf stitch. So putting one on there, another one over the top, collecting up that band, and then pulling it through all of them. So you've got one leaf stitch one way, one leaf stitch the other way. Now all you're going to do is, with your hook, facing the way you've, you've finished, you're just going to tip it over and grab this band, in my case it's the purple inside band, you're going to grab it and just hook it back up. I think of this as the side pickup stitch. I think um, I Love Stalloon has also done that in some of her designs. Um, I've done it in a couple of other ones, can't think of them off the top of my head, but yeah. So it's basically picking up a stitch from a previous layer, but from the outside, on the side. Okay, so you're left with that. Now you're going to flip that around. Easiest way to do this is to pull down so that you're sort of getting that band out of the way. So you just kind of slide your fingers down a little bit, squeeze and turn. Like so. So then we go back and do another leaf stitch. You've now seen the entire sequence. So it's leaf stitch. Pull through and now we've got four and that's the way it's going to stay for the rest of the bracelet is the four. Close it up. Tip it over to the side. So if you look at it from the side, let's see if we can get it to focus. Look at it from the side. You just tip your over and grab in between those pink ones, pick up the purple one. And that 
that's it and that will gather up the previous stitch from the leaf stitch. So you guessed it again, I'm just going to use that slightly sliding action rather than just kind of grabbing it where these ones can pop off. Slide it down so you're capturing the base of those like that. Turning the hook over which Christy taught me, loves to loom. Back in and onto the next row. So as you can see it's a really simple bracelet but it does look quite effective I think. Certainly people seem to like it and I was really happy when I did it. So leaf stitch. Pulling it through. Closing it up. Tipping it over. Just going basically if you look at it from the side you're going into that pink one and grabbing a hold of that purple one. Like so. I'm going to grab it, turn it around, and that is the whole design, like so. So I'll just keep doing it. Another way you can do the leaf stitch, just in case hooking it on there, whoa, I'm going to flip it right off, just in case hooking that on there doesn't suit you, you can just put one band here, another band on top of it, and then take your band your hook was rather under, over, under, and grab it rather than starting with it on your hook. Absolutely the same. So we've got that coming through again. Just going inside that pink one from the outside and picking up the purple. Like that. See it's starting to form. And the reason if if you want to go on Google um, Banksia, it's an Australian native uh, plant and the seed pods from it open and leave these really, it's a really strange looking thing, it's kind of a clump of stuff and then these seed pods open and they've got these openings that look like um, almost sort of rounded beaks shapes, so this reminded me of the Banksia seed pod, which is why I didn't go with my original idea of Willy Wonka's scrum diddly um, pretty sure nobody was going to remember how to spell that. <laughs> so. And if you get stuck, you can't remember where you're up to, just remember that the leaf stitch will always have the, uh, the single chain band on the right hand side. So if you've got the single chain band on the right hand side on your finished layer, you need to flip it. Like so. So I think you've probably got the hang of that, and if not, please rewind, check it out again, and if certainly if you've done any of my other designs with leaf stitches, you'll be very familiar with how that one works. I'm thinking this would look really cute with black on the inside and rainbow colours, or something running down that side, I haven't had a chance to have a play with it, but certainly all of the bands that I've tried on it so far have gone really well, I think it would pretty much work with any band, uh, even the sticky ones. With the jewel layers you just have to be careful that uh, it didn't twist and uh, on the sides there or on the front, but uh, yeah it's pretty easy to untwist so shouldn't be a problem. So to finish off all I did was just grab an inside band colour and pull it through all four. Attach a C-clip, C-clip on the cap band, and that would be it. So, and it's while it's a little bit stretchy, it actually holds its form really, really well. It's it's quite tight without being, you know, pulling on the bands. So it sits really nicely, kind of like a, a watch band sits. It's it's got that tiny little bit of stretch, but it's um yeah, fairly solid. Alrighty, well I hope you've liked this and um, I hope I get to see lots of them popping up on Instagram and uh, checking out all of your colour combinations. If you have liked my video, could you please give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you want to see some more and uh, check me out on Instagram, crazy just might work and uh, give me a follow if you like my page, my account. Also, um, if you can hashtag this to crazy just might work and uh, Banksia bracelet on Instagram and maybe um, 
tag me in your comments on your pictures. I love to see. I really do love to see what people come up with on my designs. So, see, there's a nice twisted band. We just untwist that. So, um, yeah, until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye.